first it was drought, then came the rain and cold and death. The community of Minas Corral is desperate. Their precious alpacas are dying. I had at least 100 alpacas. More than 30 have died. I don't know. How am I going to live? Without water and food, thousands of alpacas in Peru have been dying since August. They still are, but now the little ones are most affected. The rain brought grass, but the adults are still weak and can't milk the newborns. Just hours after this baby alpaca died, its mother can't get away from it. Ricardo Lima says he lost 40 alpacas. Now he has these skins left to sell. Nobody wants to buy this. It's worth nothing because the fiber is too short. I'm 76 years old. I can't go out to find another job. Community leaders say most people here have lost one third of their flocks. The alpaca is a key component of the economy of thousands of families. The livelihoods of most of them depend solely on these animals. But at 4,800 meters above sea level, almost nothing grows here. All the villagers of Minas Corral are herders, or alpaqueros, as they're known here. On average, families in Peru's highlands own 200 alpacas. They are some of the few animals that can live at such high altitudes. 38-year-old Segundino Lima represents nearly 4,000 families of alpaqueros in this region. He says he's been going from one village to the next. He says more than 100,000 alpacas have died. I am so sad to see how families depend on this. My heart hurts, and I think the government must especially look at what's going on, because until now there is no support. Regional authorities say they've asked the government for more than $5 million to help these communities. They're planning to send medicine for the sick animals, but the money has yet to arrive. But for these families, the damage is done. They can only shear these animals once a year, and they say their loss now will have an impact for years. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Minas Corral, Peru.